Today is 20th September 2018, 4 p.m. This is day three of inpatient treatment. As you can see, the wound on the hamster's uh, cheek is very clean and there's no blood. Um, this wound was stitched up with uh, four stitches of four zero size. Now we are going to weigh the hamster. So the weight of the hamster now is around 45 grams, which is 10 grams lighter than it was on the first day before the electrosurgical operation. Um, so when the owners came, they complained, complained that there was a large ear tumour which was half partly gangrenous and uh, partly non-gangrenous. So um, the treatment the treatment which the vet prescribed was antibiotics and anti-inflammatory medicine. However, on the second day, um, as you can see here, the, the gangrenous half of the tumour got separated and dropped off from the non-gangrenous part. Therefore, um, the, the wound became an open wound which uh, led to a very dangerous, dangerous situation because there's a risk of infections. So therefore the vet decided to do an uh, electrosurgical operation to cut away the remaining non-gangrenous part. Yep. So after the electrosurgery, as you can see here, the non-gangrenous part was successfully cut out and then the, the wound was stitched back cleanly. So now, um, the hamster is on the path to recovery. As you can see, it's very active and and the uh, wound is stitched up very nicely. So in conclusion, uh, my advice to pet owners is to to um, observe your hamsters closely to see whether they have tumour. So once the tumour is very small, you should bring it to the vets immediately so, uh, so that you can facilitate uh, early treatment. This will make the surgical operation cheaper and also very safe. And this is the end of my video presentation.